Look at this shit. Y'all ain't never seen no motherfucking bear before, dog. Right, oh, face. Man. Move, nigga. Oh, this shit is fucking nuts, bro. He's scary looking, bro. <laughs> he about to attack us, bro. <laughs> La Contra Costa County man is recovering tonight after a coyote attacked him while he was working out with a group of friends. This happened on the field at Camp Alindo High School in Moraga right around sunrise. KPI X5's Katie Nielsen spoke with the victim about how it all went down. Just before 6.30 this morning, Kenji Seitz says he stopped right about here near the 20-yard line to do his final set of push-ups. But he felt a sharp pain in his leg and could not believe what he saw when he turned around. There's literally a coyote latched onto my left calf. Still wearing a hospital ID bracelet, Kenji says he's trying to make sense of this morning's attack. Like I'm working out and all I can think is, is like one of my, like I had two friends with me, is one of them... Like, did someone do something in my leg? Because I first felt like a pinch, but then it was a sharp pain. Kenji says he had to hit the coyote in the face before it would let go. The attack left him with a few cuts and two large puncture wounds on his leg. Other people who work out at Camp Alindo High School say they know there are coyotes in the area, but have never worried about being attacked. We see coyotes now and then and usually just they usually stay away from us. This isn't the first time a coyote attacked someone in Moraga. Less than six months ago, a small child was bitten at Moraga Commons Park, which is about two miles from this morning's attack. Fishing game um, asked for my workout pants, um, and apparently they're going to try to assess the DNA from the attack today and compare that to the two-year-old attack and see if it's the, uh, the same coyote. As for why Kenji thinks the coyote came after him and not someone else, he says it's because he was on the ground doing push-ups. It uh, thought I was vulnerable um, and, uh, yeah, went after my leg. You know, add uh, getting bit by a coyote to the 2020 punch card of uh, bad things to happen. Kenji says while his leg is throbbing quite a bit tonight, the worst part of this entire ordeal is actually the rabies shots he has to take over the next two weeks. He said despite all that, he still plans to come right back out here with his friends as soon as he's able. Now, animal control officers we talked with tonight said people need to be very careful if they plan to come out here to work out until this coyote is caught. In Moraga, Katie Nielsen, KPIX5. Hey, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there preaching his word and to you sincere listeners. With some brothers in the SF camp, you know, and the brother Quinnah Watham with me. I'm the brother Benatizak. And we just want to go into a quick lesson, you know, what you've seen uh, before you, you know, uh, the videos uh, that played before the lesson started. You know, the most High is raising uh, these animals up, man. You know, so you got uh, bears, you know, walking around uh, Pasadena, you know, which originally that was their territory, you know, but since Esau Edom conquered this place, you know, the bears, uh, their territory has been moved. But now they're coming back to their original place. And the reason why, you know, the most High is doing this is, is for judgment, man. The most High is getting ready to allow these animals to get busy on you people, man. Because we living in a time where you how about Shemmy how shy. It's going to bring all kind of judgment and plagues upon the world and mainly upon uh, Babylon the Great. And then the other video, you know, uh, that you seen was, uh, you know, this this uh, guy, he got attacked by a coyote. Now, coyotes are known for being, you know, uh, kind of shy creature. If you were to approach one, you know, in the wild, more than likely they'll they'll run away from you. But they're attacking people now, man. And this is all the judgment. Say, how about Shemmy Howard Shy? Uh, you can bring it out. Is Second Ezra chapter five verse eight? There shall be a confusion, also in many places, mm -hmm. and the fire shall be offset out again. And that's what's going on now, man. You got wildfires going on, you know, throughout the whole earth. All right, if they're not going on uh, still right now, they will. They, we you know we just passed fire season, man. And this is pretty much, you know, a, a, a global thing that was fires going on, and heavily out here in the west coast of the United States. Uh, keep going. And and the wild beasts shall change their places. Yeah, and the wild beasts shall change their places, man. So, you know, you got these bears entering into the territory where they're not usually found at, man. You know, they're usually, you know, up in the, uh, uh, you know, further in the wilderness. But now they're coming down into the cities, man. All right. You know, these uh, other animals are getting more uh, emboldened, especially with, you know, these lockdowns that Esau Edom is instituting. 
So with there being less uh, human activity out here in the streets, these animals, they're beginning to take over again, man. So what you think is going to happen when, you know, people are gone for a period of time and the animals have taken the city back? They're going to protect their territory, man. So expect to see more uh, uh, animal attacks. Expect to hear about more coyote attacks, more uh, bear attacks, man, more uh, mountain lion attacks, you know. It says, and menstruous woman shall bring forth monsters. Okay. So if you could jump to, uh, was it Jeremiah the 15th chapter? Start from the top. Okay. This is Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 1. Then said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me. Mm -hmm. Which Moses and Samuel were two great people before Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And both of these individuals made intercession for the nation of Israel, man. Okay. Uh, Samuel did it when Israel asked for uh, a king. And Moses did it multiple times, man. All right. So the Heavenly Father saying, even though these two great men came out of this nation, they, they stood before me and served me. Keep going. Yet my mind could not be towards this people. Yeah, the Most High can't deal with you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You refuse to turn back to them. And the Most High has given you plenty of time to, uh, you know, amend your ways. Okay. Stop doing your wickedness and come back to them. But you, you, you still continue to refuse. So what's going to happen to you, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is going to bring judgment upon you, man. It says, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass if they say unto thee, whither shall we go forth? Yep. Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, such as are for death to death. Yeah, so since you don't want to serve Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the most size is going to put a certain a number of you to death, man. Keep going. And such as are for the sword... And such as are for the sword to the sword. Yeah, so some of you going to drop dead. Some of you going to get put to death uh, uh, in these different wars that's getting ready to go on, man. You know, race wars, class wars, food rights. You know, when the martial law troops uh, come down here and those swords uh, represent uh, guns, man. Keep going. And such as are for the famine to the famine. And there's going to be a famine. Well, we already in it, you know, but it ain't really uh, uh, hyped up like that. You know, it hasn't really ramped up. You literally going to see people out here starving, man, hunting people down. Okay? Some of you going to fall victim to that. You know? You going you going to uh be a, uh you going to turn into a cannibal and you still going to starve to death, man. Keep it's, going. And such as are for the captivity to the captivity. What's the captivity of those concentration camps that Esau Edom has set up? Which a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you going to end up in those camps and you going to get put to death, man. All right? It says, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, mm -hmm. the sword to slay, yep. the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven. Mm -hmm. It says, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. So the Most High is going to use these beasts to put you to death, man. And just as you see in the video, you got these uh, bears walking around now. You know, you got coyotes uh, attacking people, you know. So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is setting this up, man. Keep going. Uh, I, I believe that was the point. Okay, Kai. Yeah, uh, I, got, I got a quick precept real quick. This um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, verse 17. For the almighty hand that made the world of matter without form, mm. wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions. Oh, you see, bears and lions, man. And then not to mention these animals that's in these zoos, which they going to get out too. So you got tigers up in there, lions, yep. you know, rhinoceros. rhinoceroses, you know, hi hi hippos. And them hippos, man, those some vicious creatures. If you ever watch those uh, uh, animal documentaries, man, they got chimpanzees in there, which, uh, you know, brothers that's been in this thing for a while, you know about Travis the Chimp, man. <laughs> so you know how deadly uh, those chimpanzees can be. <laughs> they say the, uh, an orangutan has the um, strength to rip off a human's arm. Mm. You know, that's how powerful they are. Or it says, verse 18, are unknown wild beasts. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Beasts that, that are not known to man. Mm -hmm. New creatures. You know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has uh, created that he's going to unleash on you people when all hell breaks loose out here, man. Yep. It says, full of rage, mm -hmm. newly created, yep. breathing, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke. Mm-hmm. Are shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. God, and then the Most High has creatures like this, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the ones that's that's known is the the Leviathan, which the Most High is gonna sick that animal on you as well. Mm -hmm. 
It says, whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once, mm -hmm. but also the terrible sight utterly destroyed them. Mm. Yeah, so just the, the mere sight of these creatures that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to present to you, you're going to be all messed up and drop dead over that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, before it even uh, uh, attacks people. All right, I'm going to jump to uh, Sirach. Sirach chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Mm -hmm. And these spirits are out here, man. Okay, the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is going to take vengeance upon Babylon the Great. And you, on you wicked people throughout the four corners of the earth. And one of those ways that the Heavenly Father is going, going to take vengeance is through these animals, man. It says, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Uh-huh. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yeah, see, what you people don't understand is that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the creator of the heavens and earth, he's pissed off right now, man. Mm -hmm. He's pissed off with the majority of the things that are going on, not only in this world, okay, but here in uh, uh, Babylon the Great, man. The Heavenly Father is extremely pissed off. So what is he going to do? He, he's going to send these animals out here. He's going to send uh, uh, other kind of calamities to put you people to death. Earthquakes, thunderstorms, you know, oh, oh, the apparitions, man. The apparitions, yep. Just as it what happened in the, uh, the ancient Egypt, you know. It says fire and hell and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. And all those things are coming to Babylon the Great. Fire and hell. The ultimate fire that's gonna hit this place is a thermal nuclear fire. Okay, but even before that, you're gonna have fire started by you know different rioters and whatnot. Or the fire from the, the laser beams that's going to come from the chariots. It says teeth of wild beasts. Teeth of wild beasts. There you go. So the Lord is going to use these different animals to, to jack you people up, man. It says and scorpions and serpents mm. and the sword. Oh, well, it's, it's snakes in those, uh, the, 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 the zoos. Yep, yep. You know, they got the cobras in there, different vipers. And you get bit by a cobra, you, you through, man. The only thing that could uh, protect you. Is the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, Paul, he got bit by a snake, and the, you know, the people marvel because nothing happened to him. Yep. But you ain't gonna be able to go to a, a, the hospital, you know, to get the anti venom, man. The hospital's gonna be shut down. Mm -hmm. You know? And let's not forget the um the creeping things. You got the murder hornets, mm -hmm. you know. You got you got all types of deadly creatures that the most size created for for judgment. Oh, them uh the Africanized uh honeybees, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah. them things, if you you disturb their nests or they feel that you a threat, they'll hunt you down for miles, man, stinging you until you die. Yep. And the perfect example is the um when you get into the ten plagues that the most size smote ancient Egypt with, that shows you that he can control the the spirits of the um the creation that will, whether yep. it be the creeping things, the animals. Because you really plug, plug them with the frogs, mm -hmm. the locusts, you know. So he can put the spirit on the animals to attack. Yep, yep. You know? Like that, what's that movie? The birds. Mm -hmm. It's coming down, pecking motherfuckers out. That's going to happen. Yep. You know? <laughs> it says, teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. That's right. Punishing the wicked to destruction. That's the reason why these things are happening, man. That's why you're seeing bears, you know, in places where they're not usually found at, man. That's why you're hearing about coyotes uh, attacking people, you know, but you never really heard these things, you know, especially in a, in a you know, with, with a lot of people around, man. Mm -hmm. So these coyotes, they're getting emboldened, man. You know, and these bears, you already know a bear rip you up. Yep, I got one. Bear. And these things are happening because you have Bashim Yahweh Shai is getting ready to bring major judgment down here to Babylon the Great. Let's see. Uh... Okay. But it speaks about Leviathan coming out um, the Psalms 104. Yeah, I got it. Okay. It's, uh, Psalms 104 and uh, Psalms 104 24. Oh Lord, how mindful are thy works, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Mm. The earth is full of thy riches, so is the great and wide sea. Yeah, the ocean, you know. It says, wherein are things creeping innumerable, both small and great beasts. Yep. There go the ships. There is that Leviathan whom thou hast made to play therein. That's right. And the Lord's going to uh, send Leviathan on you too, man. That's another creature that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to use. Yeah, he show you that in these uh, different Godzilla movies, especially, you know, the newer ones. He's been uh, showing up to America a lot, man. Mm -hmm. You know, for some, some odd reason. <laughs> and, and, in particular, San Francisco. Yep. It says, these wait all upon thee, 
that thou mayest give them their meat in due season. That's right. Leviathan is waiting on, on the Lord for that go ahead, man. Yep, yep. Like, you know. like that movie, um, The Kraken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zeus, he came out and said, release the Kraken. But Most High is the only one that can release the Leviathan. He said he made them that they may uh, give them their meat in due season. Mm -hmm. What's their, their meat? To tear Esau's shit up. That's know? right. He said he plays with the ships. So he going to come out the ocean to fuck Esau battle cruises up, you know? Come on land as he's coming on land, bring the ocean with him. It's gonna it's gonna be terrible. The, the, the great day of the Lord is gonna be very terrible. You know? That's one of the best thing for uh for uh the members that's listening to these videos is repent. Okay. Just come back to to the will of Yahweh Shemal Shai so he can have that hedge and protection around you when these things are happening. That's you know? right. That's the only way you're gonna be able to get through this. Mm -hmm. You know. As a matter of fact, one more. Okay. It's, like, it's all good, bro. One more. Just hit me. Job chapter five. The Lord gonna protect his men. Oh yeah, kind yeah. I was thinking about that earlier, but it skipped my mind. Yeah, Job chapter five. Um, let's see. I started uh, nineteen. Job five and nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Mm -hmm. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Which the six uh, and seven trouble are synonymous with the six and seven trumpets in uh, the Book of Revelation. So that six trumpet, that's when the uh, the, the missiles gonna be shut off. The seven trumpets when everything is uh, you know complete, man. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going. In famine, he shall redeem me from death. In famine, he shall redeem me from death. And what do we just read in Sirach, uh the 39th chapter? That famine is for the wicked. Okay. The Most High isn't going to destroy the, the righteous. Keep going. And in war from the power of the sword. Uh-huh. Which the sword was another thing that the Most High was going to use to destroy the wicked, man. But these things aren't so for the righteous. Keep going. Thou shall be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Mm-hmm. Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. That's right. Keep going. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Yeah. Neither that. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Because the heavenly Father is going to put the spirit in those beasts to be at peace with you, man. Mm -hmm. And there's multiple examples of that in the scriptures. You know, one of the prominent ones is Daniel when he got thrown into the lion's den. Mm -hmm. You know, the king thought he was going to get ripped up. You know, because anybody else they throw in the lions, then them lions attack them, man. Yep. But the lions was cool with Daniel. Why? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put the spirit on him not to uh, destroy Daniel, which is further proof that the Most High controls the beast. Yep. When, you know? When you read into it, it said the Lord has sent his angel and the angel shut the lion's mouth. Mm -hmm. you know? Pretty much put the spirit on him not to attack. And that's exactly what he's going to do for his elect. You know? It says, for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, mm -hmm. and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Yeah, the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. So they ain't going to be messing with you. Okay, the reason why the Heavenly Father is, you know, sending these beasts out here for the destruction is to rip these wicked-ass people up, man. Now, if you're doing the things that are right in the sight of you, how about Shemmy, how shy, why does the Most High need to attack you with a beast? You know, that, 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 you know, dude that got bit by that, that coyote, he was wicked, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord executed some kind of judgment on him you know and what's coming to mind is uh, jezebel he had he had her ripped up by dogs yep you know? mm -hmm. different accounts in the scriptures where the lord had beasts um rip people up yep or oh, that one uh prophet that disobeyed the yeah. commandments of, of the of the heavenly father uh -huh. he went back and then on his way back he got ripped up i believe it's another account where it was heathen in our in our land trying to keep our customs and the lord allowed um i think i believe lions to yep. tear him up mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, the, uh, them Samaritans. Come, come. So it's all types of accounts in the scriptures where the beasts were at peace with the prophets. And in, in other instances, the beast was ripping motherfuckers up. Yep. That wasn't right. You know? Yeah, and the Lord's going to bring that back to uh, Babylon, man. He's going to run it back. It says, For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace. And thou shalt visit, visit thy habitation and shall not sin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Nah, that's it. Yeah, kind. You know, so with that, we hope this lesson was edifying. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom.